what's the crack lads welcome back to the channel and we are going to be taking a look at what's coming thursday so we've got a big stream planned for thursday we'll get into that towards the end of the video but we also want to talk about what is coming thursday as we always do and then see what does actually come out now konami have been a little bit kind of i would say chaotic with how they've been releasing stuff with double packs and stuff but i know people that are on these lap rewards these laps i think are going to go up until eFootball 2025 it roughly takes a week uh, to clear a lap now obviously i know people that are on like lap 35 going on to lap 36 but if it takes you six seven days to clear one of these that's seven 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 that's three that's going to be three four weeks left i think that's when we'll start to get news with eFootball 2025 when they do the next big update because once people have these laps cleared they will be you know obviously getting more laps obviously with this as well if you have missed out on any of these you can continue to, to go for it we have these two players left um, and then all, obviously all the rest of the rewards as well. But yeah, I've spoken about that quite a bit. We'll cover it in the stream as well. As I said, I am planning on a big stream with details at the end as well. But it's all about the same kind of rinse and repeat. The tournament is still ongoing. If you guys have not played that yet, you can just sim the entire tournament and get like, I think it's like 200,000 XP uh, or 200,000 GP which is okay the events you know that co-op is going to come back obviously and these are going to be refreshed obviously there's only 16 hours left in these at the time of recording and in the european club tournaments so they're going to be all gone basically um and then you have obviously the european clubs that are going to continue to go on and the co-op will come back as well a lot of people actually missed out on the objectives so don't worry about that those objectives will be allowed will be able to be cleared uh because you still have 21 days if you've missed out on our the argentina pack here or any of these rewards right we were missing one argentina player and all the rest of the skill trainers and stuff but it's because the ai event here to complete these events are not it's not possible to play it yet because it's only coming back on the thursday or on the monday and then it lasts for however long it lasts right they've kind of mixed that around so don't worry about that if you can't the weekly objectives here as well these are just obviously for tour events and they will probably be added as well and you can continue to work through those but we're not going to see a significant change in those until eFootball 2025, in my personal opinion, right? Also, we're going to talk about the contract situation here at the moment, and we'll show you our first player of the week tease, as we have gotten on eFootball's official Twitter account, Konami's official X account or Twitter account. Four days left in this, four days left in this, but all of these will be gone. 16 hours left, 16 hours left in those player of the week and the show times, so they'll be refreshed. Interesting to see who could come for the European Club Tournament uh, or the Showtime. I definitely think we'll get Legends. I'll show you there in a second who I think we could get. These have been extended and these have been also extended as well. So there's 14 days left. I think these dates are probably important because if you add on, you know, that's nearly two months away. That would bring us to the end of August. And that's when I think we will start to see, uh, you know, the big chain the big like development you know switch over from eFootball 24 to eFootball 2025 how big of a switch that will be we'll cover a couple of eFootball 2025 videos i'll have a bit of news to share with you quite soon um but other than that it looks like we are going to be getting these teases so konami always tweet out this is on the official x account and straight away that looks like kevin de bruyne um there and obviously if you take it in that it's going to be you know a, a worldwide player or whatever for the player of the weeks it looks like it is going to be james rodriguez and they are the graphics there that a few people have done up i think this one is from cte football james rodriguez and kevin de bruyne ratings are obviously not fully done yet um but that also brings us on to who other, who else could come right so i definitely think pepe will get a card um califiori could come as well he's a very very good player italy i saw their match the other day it was uh it was a really good finish to that game couple of the games heating up now um but obviously i think until it gets to knockout stage it's going to be it's going to be a little bit uh a little bit kind of tentative you know uh but there is rodriguez and de bruyne in that as well pulisic could come as well as cucurella there's a couple in there there's a couple of players in there that um i don't think are they going to change the dial are they going to be like oh these guys are going to be absolutely amazing i think what will probably be happening next is they will probably release some of the teamed uh cars that they have here so you can see here Tati and zaggy del piero and baggio and also you can see hullet van basten and reichard with raul and javi they've already released alonso and maradona and of course they've also released pirlo so you could see a pack where it's like you know beckham baggio or beckham Tati and javi um, and they'll kind of mix it it's very rare that they will release a pack of like you know Hollet van Basten and Rijkaard and three Netherlands uh, players they're usually trying to catch all of a wider audience you know whereas if you already have one or two of those players you're not going to spin so they'll usually release packs that people have not got before 
Um, so yeah, I mean, listen, this is this is kind of where the cards are at at the moment. Obviously, you can still have a bit of crack with the other cards, but this is where you know a large portion of it comes um, with how they're actually you know getting the cards to come out more and more, um, and just have the the kind of content based around the cards. So these are all unreleased. There are more unreleased cards there as well, and there are a couple of club edition cards like Makalele there and Perez there and uh, Romario, obviously Varane, Platini. There is a couple of new cards there, Fletcher. Um, but yeah, that's what I think will happen. Now, lads, we did mention that we were going to be doing a big stream. We are doing a stag stream tomorrow, boys. If you guys want to get it, you can come and get it. We're going to be doing a big, long stream. And we're going to be doing, you know, subscriber showdown where I'll play some of you guys. We'll do squad reviews. We're going to be doing a couple of spins. We're going to be doing share play where I take control of your squads. And I'll update the squads. I'll pick your best players and we'll, tr you know, train a few players there is rumors that the free player reset progression could come back tomorrow i don't think it will but we will get into everything tomorrow on this on the stag stream and i hope you guys spend it with me so until then i will have some more news and uh as soon as i can share it and uh, we will see you tomorrow boys so let me know what you guys think and i hope to see you guys tomorrow peace